Want to create 3D animated short stories that are going viral on YouTube right now? Just like this. So. This is me. Wait. I don't want to wait three days to text you. Can I see you tomorrow? Can I see you tomorrow? I was hoping you'd say that. These videos work in both short form for YouTube shorts and long form content, and they're getting millions of views. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the complete workflow from start to finish. This isn't a single tool process. We're going to use multiple AI tools together. And by the end, I'll show you the full 3D short film I create using this exact method. First up, we need a story. If you already have a script ready, feel free to skip ahead. But if you're starting from scratch, I've got you covered with a master prompt that will generate everything you need. This single prompt creates character designs, storyboard image prompts, animation instructions, and dialogue, all formatted and ready to use. You can see the prompt on screen right now. At the top, you can change the theme to anything you want. Romance, friendship, adventure, whatever fits your vision. Next, specify how many scenes you need based on your story length. The prompt also handles silent frames, those cinematic moments without dialogue that add depth to your film. You set the quantity, and it balances everything automatically. The prompt generates character reference descriptions first. You specify two to four characters, and it creates detailed prompts for each one, including eye color, clothing, facial features, everything. After that, it moves to storyboard generation. For every single scene you requested, it provides an image prompt for the visual, an animation prompt for movement, and the dialogue if that scene has speaking parts. For my example, I'm using a romantic couple on a date concept with three to five scenes and two characters. I've copied the entire prompt and now we can paste it into any AI chatbot. ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, Grok, any of them work. I'm using Perplexity with Gemini 3 Pro selected. I'll paste the prompt and hit enter. It'll think for a moment, then generate everything we need. And there we go. Look at this. First, it generated prompts for our two main characters, Leo and Maya. Next to each name is a complete character description we'll use to generate reference sheets. Then it moves into scene-by-scene -scene breakdowns. Scene 1 takes place in a rooftop garden restaurant. Frame 1A has its image prompt and animation prompt. Frame 1B follows, then 1C with dialogue included. Scene 2 starts fresh with new frames, all with their own prompts and dialogue. In total, it created four complete scenes, exactly what I asked for. We've got everything now, let's move forward. I'll copy Leo's character prompt first and head over to Design AI. This platform is seriously impressive. It's an all-in-one creative suite with AI image generation, video creation, lip sync, consistent characters, the works. They keep adding new tools constantly. We want to generate our character reference first. Click on AI Text to Image. At the top, you'll see the model selector. They've got Z Image, C Dream 4.5, Nano Banana Pro, Flux 2 Pro, and several other top models. I'm going with Nano Banana Pro for this. I'll paste Leo's prompt into the prompt box, set the resolution to 2K and aspect ratio to 1 to 1. Click Generate and let's see what we get. Perfect, look at this character sheet. You can see the side profile, three quarter view, and front view all in one image. I'll download this and save it. Now let's do the same for Maya. Just swap out the prompt and generate her character sheet. Excellent. Now we have both character references ready. Next step, generating our storyboard scenes. Click on Chat Edit it here in Design. I'll upload both character sheets to the canvas first. Both references are loaded. Time to generate our first scene frame. Going back to our script, this is the image prompt for scene 1, frame 1. Copy and paste it into the prompt box. Click Generate and watch the magic happen. Look at that! Our first frame is stunning. Leo sitting alone, beautiful lighting. I'll download this and save it as scene 1A. Now here's a pro tip. We need to upload this generated scene as a reference image too. This keeps all future generations consistent with the same background, lighting, and atmosphere. Now we just repeat the process. Grab the prompt for frame 1B, paste it, generate. The system keeps everything consistent because we've loaded those reference images. You don't need to upload them again for each generation. Just paste the new prompt and go. See how the second image came out? Exact same background, same lighting conditions, sunset in the distance. I'll continue generating all the frames this way, using the prompts from our script one by one. Alright, storyboard complete. You're seeing all the frames we created on screen now. 
Now let's talk animation. Design AI has a lip sync tool we can use. Click on lip sync, then pick a face image. I'll choose this scene with both characters. The cool part, you can select multiple faces and assign different voiceovers to each. I'll select both faces here. It takes us to a timeline. Speaker A is our male character, speaker B is female. Click pick voice for speaker A. If you've already generated voiceovers from Eleven Labs or another platform, upload them here. Design also has built-in text-to-speech with various voices you can preview. Let me show you a quick demo. I'll select James for the male voice and paste his dialogue below. Click Generate Audio and it creates the voiceover. Apply it to the timeline. Now for speaker B, I'll select Brittany and add Maya's dialogue. Generate Audio, then Apply. Zoom in on the timeline and you can place both voiceovers in sequence. Maya speaks first, then Leo responds. Click Generate and the lip synced video starts processing. Here's the result. Check wow. this out. You look exactly like your profile picture. Ha, huh, even the sweater. I, uh, yeah. I try to stay on brand, I guess. Please, sit. The lip sync quality is solid, and the multi-person sync works well. But for true cinematic quality, there are limitations. The generated voices sound a bit robotic, and the scene is somehow static. No camera movement, limited body animation. For professional-looking animated films, we need more. That's where the animation prompts come in. Remember, our script gave us both image prompts and animation prompts for each scene. We're going to take our storyboard images and convert them into fully animated videos with cinematic camera movements first. Then we'll come back and add proper lip sync with high quality voices. Okay, let's demonstrate with a scene that has dialogue. Here's its animation prompt from our script. Click on AI video in Design AI. We're using Start Frame. Upload scene 1B, the image we generated earlier. Now select your video model. They offer Kling 2.6, Cdance 1.5 Pro, Sora 2, VO 3.1 Fast, and several others. I'm going with VO 3.1 Fast for this. I'll paste both the image and animation prompts into the box. Click Generate and let it process. Okay, VO 3.1 generated our clip with audio included. Let me show you. You look exactly like your profile picture, even the sweater. The quality is impressive, movement looks natural, and it even added voice. But here's the thing, when you generate multiple clips with VO 3.1, the voices often change between scenes. Lip sync can also be inconsistent. If you're lucky, you might get away with using VO clips directly. But in my experience, you'll get better results doing proper lip sync separately. So here's our workflow. Generate all scene animations with VO 3.1 for the movement and camera work, then take those videos and run them through Design's lip sync tool with professionally generated voices from Eleven Labs or OpenAI TTS. This gives you cinematic animation plus perfect, consistent voice work. Now, let me show you how. Go back to lip sync in Design AI. This time, click Upload a Face Video instead of a static image. Upload the video we just generated with VO 3.1. The tool automatically detects all faces in the video. It found two faces here. We only need the main character, so I'll deselect the other face. Click Next. We're back on the timeline. Speaker A is our female character. Click Upload Audio and choose the voiceover we generated earlier from Eleven Labs. It appears on the timeline. Drag it to where she starts speaking in the clip. Click Generate and it processes the lip sync. And here's the final result. You look exactly like your profile picture. Even the sweater. Look at this. The lip sync is tight, the voice quality is excellent, and the animation is cinematic. This is the quality we're aiming for. Repeat this process for every scene with dialogue in your film. For scenes without dialogue, just use the VO animated clips as is. I'm going to finish generating and lip syncing all my scenes now, then I'll take you to the final timeline. All right, I'm in my video editor now. All clips are lip synced with the voices I generated. The silent scenes are dropped in as well. I've added a music track underneath and used keyframes to duck the volume during dialogue sections. It stays full volume during silent moments. In the beginning, I added a simple title card that says, The First Date. That's it. Time to export and show you what we created. If you found this workflow helpful, hit the like button and drop a comment below. The link for Design AI is in the description. Check out their lip sync tool and everything else they offer. Now let's watch what we created. You look 
exactly like your profile picture. Even the sweater. I, uh, <laughs> I try to stay on brand. Please sit. I never thought about it that way. You make the world sound louder, but in a good way. That's just the artist in me. We tend to romanticize the noise. wait three days to text you. Can I see you tomorrow? Can I see you tomorrow? I was hoping you'd say that.